Hey Chuck, this is Carol with Coldwell Banker. We out, are out at 106 Fox Trot. I am sitting and um, standing right here on the sidewalk that goes to the stairs going up to the house. Seems I can't talk today, sorry. Here's the front yard. This is the driveway. It is a paved driveway going down to the paved road, which is excellent. Um, this is all big parking area here. Okay, to the two car garage. There is an access door in the back, um, and I've already unlocked it and turned on the lights in there, but um, here's the roof. Okay. Here's our crawl space. This is on the side of the house. There's our driveway, and it does have a light inside. And here's our crawl space access. I see, all I see is a teeny, a little bit of insulation over there. I'm not sure what that's about, but there is insulation underneath, and here's your hot water heater. Right to the right side looks like they've got a water filter system here some people put those in just because and others do it because you want to get some impurities out of the water but crawl space looks pretty clean so that's it for crawl space i'm gonna turn off the light which is up above okay let me close this up and keep it locked I'll take care of that in a minute. Um, so, and they've got concrete everywhere. They've got the drainage that goes underneath and then runs out. So water doesn't collect here. Here's the back of the garage. Looks good. Again, we're looking out to the front of the property. And here's our back door into the garage. Just see. Uh, Average size. There is a window on either end or either side. So there's a window over there. Garage front, and there's a window right here. So the garage looks pretty clean, uneventful. One opener. There is pull down attic access for the garage, which is nice. Um, you can get up in there. I see a pull light up there. So there is light up there. Um, Looks like they've done really good on their um, drainage. I see another drainage pipe there going out. This is the backyard. Okay. There's a neighbor over there through the trees. Okay. There's a neighbor over there. So it feels very private um, with all the trees. There's our shed. I'll have to see if there's a I'll have to go see what's up with the shed. So there's power in the garage, obviously. Um, there is a full covered back porch because we are at the back of the house. <clears throat> oh, that's the neighbor's shed right there. That's what that is. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have the key to this shed. It uses the same key as the other. Um, let me see here. There we go. I do, we do. Let's see what we've got here. We have got power. I see um, a light up here. Let's see if I can find a switch. Uh, Don't see a switch. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, so there's a switch below the window. Ballast isn't coming on all the way. A little bit of storage up there. Um, no water in here. Just a workshop shed, storage shed. So that's that. Um, and then it's got a window facing the front of the property. So yeah, nice size shed. <clears throat> okay. It's gonna be a long video. I should be taking, I should be stopping doing parts, but I'm not. So here's the side yard, looking back to the front of the property. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn this off and get around. There's your um, AC unit. Um, the propane tank is underneath the front porch and that serves the gas log fireplace. So uh, that answers that. Anyways, talk to you in a minute. All right, so here we are on the front porch. This is a full covered screen front porch. The fans obviously are not rated for outside because they're drooping that's for moisture. Um, if they're not rated for outdoors, that's what happens to them. So here we are. And we've got a patio door here at the entrance. So one side opens, the other side does not. It's stationary. Then we come into the home. Um, it's got oak floors, which is nice. And it's got pine ceilings which in the great room, which I like. Um, there's your gas log fireplace. I love the stack stone. It's beautiful. That's an upgrade. Double windows looking over to the garage. Here's your eating area. And here's an island. Of course, you saw all this stuff in the pictures. We have a Lazy Susan in here and a Lazy Susan in there, which is nice. Um, and they added this extra cabinet over here for extra space. I like that too. Um, this island does not have any outlets or any plumbing to it, so I'm believing it moves. Let me see if I can move it. Yes, so this island will move. You can get rid of it, you can move it closer there to out give more room here, or move it out. You can do whatever you want with it, so um, that's nice. And then we go, and now we're at the hallway. Here's the kitchen. Your washer and dryer are in the hallway with the bifold doors. There's your access for your attic. And your guess is as good as mine if there is a light up there. It looks like they have a security system as well. Um, um, it's not armed right now, but um, so washer and dryer and then tile floor which is nice so it's an upgrade and then tile falls into this hall bathroom <clears throat> and then from that hall bathroom if I stay to the left I come to a bedroom and I walk this way and then I'll turn around so we've got a back window a side window that looks towards the shed and then a closet, which is a small walk-in closet. Um, so you see there's ample closet space there. Um, and it's got a light. There we go. Now we're in the dark. <laughs> so it's carpeted in here. The carpeting actually, in the pictures, I thought I was seeing staining. There might be some footsteps here, some stained footsteps. I'm not sure if they tried to, um, yeah, somebody walked with something on their shoes, apparently. I don't know if they have tried to steam clean that out or not. Um, and then here is the master suite. So those doors go out. Those are, again, patio doors. Only one side opens. The other side's stationary. Um, those go to the front screen porch, which is nice. And this looks like a queen size bed. It fits very comfortably. You could put a king in here without a problem if you wanted to. Uh, another walk-in closet. Okay, and then the master bathroom, which has a shower only, which is nice. Oops, I'm trying to keep myself out of these pictures. Uh, single sink, so, and again, the tile floors. So, and carpet in here. The carpet in here looks fine. I don't see any issues with that. Um, Sorry, I'm probably spinning you around here, aren't I? Um, and then here's our closet. Another walk-in, basically. Not a big walk-in, but a walk-in nonetheless. And I think that was it for our tour. Um, home inspection would reveal if there is a light up in the attic, because I'm gonna go up there and look. So um, I'm not gonna bother trying to climb on the washer and dryer to get up there myself. But uh, we've got recessed lighting up there and another light. So plenty of lighting and 
there. Oh, it's nice. Looks good. That is it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.